Praise God. This is Apostle Dixon. How you guys doing today? I'm trying to get this right here. Okay. Um, come on in. I am actually I'm trying to fix this thing. Okay, so basically what I'm talking about today is the ultimate fight of your life. Praise God, praise God. I don't know why it's it just bear with me, you guys. Oh, the devil, the devil don't like this subject. I'm going to tell you that right now. So let me go ahead and start. Praise God. How you guys doing? The title of this is the ultimate fight of your life. It's not paying bills. It's not keeping a husband. It's not keeping a job. God told me to tell you, you have to fight to stay safe. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. This is a fight for your life because the enemy is trying to pull you from God. So I want to start with scripture. Praise God. Praise God. Okay. The first scripture I want to start with is what is in second Timothy and it is four seven it says i have fought the good fight i have finished the race i have kept the faith the enemy is after the faith come on somebody hallelujah the enemy wants to take you from god the enemy is not playing especially in these last days god says that you have to fight oh i'm i gotta go here i gotta go here i knew you was gonna do this let me tell you something if you're an ex-alcoholic, you got to fight to stay sober. If you are, if you have bad thoughts, so come on somebody, we all been delivered. You know what I'm saying? But there's a fight every day. A fight not to go back to what you used to do. Come on somebody. A fight not to be who you used to be. Every day sometimes. You may not say nothing, but you know you thinking and you feel it. A fight not to cuss out somebody. A fight not to fight nobody. Oh, come on somebody. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost up in here. You understand what I'm saying? It's a fight. And our enemy is winning, God says. In this hour, he is winning because guess what you you're working you're working you're doing what you gotta do but god says you are not understanding the ultimate fight the ultimate fight is for your spirit the ultimate fight is for your soul the enemy is after your soul saints come on somebody hallelujah He's trying to frustrate you through a pharaoh system. You know how you work so hard that you're frustrated you're trying to pay bills you're just trying to live but some of you have forgotten who your God is. God said that you have left your first love. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And that's why sometimes we start losing the fight. You got to fight to stay saved. You got to fight to stay in love with God. You got to fight to read the Bible. You got to fight, God says. Come on, somebody. Because life sometimes can be hard. Oh, come on, somebody. That's what the whole Bible is about. It's about a group of men and women. Oh, come on, somebody. Our legacy, our generations before us, our, father, our founding fathers, our founding mothers. Let me tell you what they did. That Bible shows you I survived. Yes, I went through hell, but I'm in heaven. Yes, I had to do some things I didn't want to do. Yes, I had to go some places I didn't want to go. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you something. The, what you're going through now is preparing you for the real stuff. Oh, come on, somebody. It's not going to get better. I know you wanted me to say that, but that's not true. God tells me and Revelation tells me that it's going to get worse. So the enemy is after you. The enemy is trying to trip you up, God says. So you have to stay connected. How do you stay connected. You stay connected through prayer. You can't stay connected through fasting. You stay connected to hearing the word of God. Come on, somebody from a true man and woman of God. Let me tell you something else. If you sit under something that's false, all sooner or later, you begin to act like them, think like them, walk like them and talk like them. If you don't believe me, keep living. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Ain't everybody could minister to me. Ain't everybody could preach to me. Ain't everybody could teach to me. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you the truth. If they don't have the Holy Ghost, you can't trust them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to his name. I don't care how much you love him. I don't care what good they do in the community. You don't understand. I'm about to say something that's going to mess some of you up. It's going to have a lot of bad, I mean, good people going to hell. Y'all ain't ready for me. Because guess what? Well, I do this and I do that. But did you, did you, re did you really love God? Did you do what God said to do? Because you see, let me tell you something about that Bible and about church. It's about good works now. What I've done for the community. What I've done for this. What scholarship. This, 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 this. Let me tell you something. God want to know one thing. Have you done what I asked you to do? Have you ministered? Let me tell you what else the church is lacking in this hour, thus said the Lord. We don't evangelize the way we used to. We see people hurting out there. We see people on the job. We have friends. We have family. We have yet to witness to God. Oh, come on, somebody, because they're going to talk about you. Well, they're talking about you already, because I'm going to tell you, because I'm going to tell you the truth, how I live. I don't care about if who likes me. I care about your soul. So, honey, I'm going to get on here, and I'm going to tell you what God say, and I don't care if you like me. As a matter of 
fact, you can talk about me. Hallelujah to his name. Because I'm worried about your soul. Hallelujah to his name. The heart of God is souls, people. The heart of God is souls. And God is saying this day, fight, fight. I know you're tired, but fight because I'm with you. Oh, come on, somebody. All we did was trade places with Jesus the Christ. If you don't understand what I'm saying, let me take you on that journey. God died for us, yet he knew no sin. Come on, somebody. So now we have to fight. Come on, somebody. Fight every day for Jesus. You don't hear what I'm saying. God, I'm going to obey you. God, I'm going to pass this test. God, I'm going to serve you. God, I'm going to love you. God, I ain't going to put nobody or nothing before you. That's a fight every day. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Who you playing with? And you got to win every day. Come on, somebody. It's sad because we have a church where you really can't trust nobody to tell nobody nothing. Oh, I'm going here. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost. There are times at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning when you can't sleep because you got a lot on your mind, but you don't even know who to call. Because if you call the wrong person, your business is going to be on Facebook. You call the wrong person in church, they're going to be looking at you crazy in church. You don't hear what I'm saying. So sometimes you got to fight a little harder because you don't know who to trust. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I'm saying. So that, so you got to fight. You got to win, God says. Hallelujah. I got some more scriptures for you. Come on, somebody. Ephesians 6, 12. It says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against the authorities. Y'all don't hear what I just said. Y'all better listen to scripture. Authorities against the cosmic powers. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying? Come on, somebody. Oh, he says also, over this present darkness. He, there's a present darkness, and it's going to get darker, said the Lord. He said, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places the fallen angels that's who run in this world oh come on somebody hallelujah let me tell you why we have so much demonic activity going on i'm going back to genesis let me tell you something when god kicked out the angels kicked out the devil and the angels from um heaven what happened is they started going into fleshly women that's why you have they have spirit husbands and spirit wives y'all don't hear what i'm saying but not only that that's where giants was formed but also that was the bloodline of the nephilim so you understand understand why we have so much demonic things and that's why when you meet somebody you have to ask God who is this before me come on somebody we're not fighting flesh we're not fighting blood we are fighting demons come on somebody in high places uh, you know uh, um, I always say this and I pray that you look at this movie and don't be scared but if you really want to know how demons move there's a movie that was I think in the 80s I'm not really sure please forgive me about that but it's called Fallen and it was with Denzel Washington and it was crazy because guess what I, uh, I'm sorry when I saw that movie I, doubt, I, I started looking at him sideways because they really have a demon in that movie called Azalea Az- Aziz- Azaza is really a demon. I mean, he owns like he he's over like a half part of hell or something like that. So I was like, wait a minute. He he got to know what's going on because when he did that movie, it was so deep. But anyway, what happened is every time they passed by somebody, a, a spirit, even by a touch, the spirit was transferred. You ain't heard what I just said. Even by a touch, and that's why I'm not trying to be funny. Everybody can't touch me. Oh, you don't hear me. Even by God says in Timothy, lay hand, lay no man suddenly. This is a demonic war, and God said that we're losing. You don't hear what I'm saying, and you already have the victory. All you got to do is fight. And here's what I'm trying to tell you, saying today. I want you to be encouraged because we all got to fight every day. I may not know your fight. You may not know my fight, but let me tell you something. You stay encouraged because guess what? Jesus said you already got the victory because at the end of that thing, he said, guess what? The battle is really not yours. It's mine, but I still need you to stand. Oh, come on, somebody. I need you to stand and practice in the earth. That's why it's so important for us to stand strong in the Lord. Y'all see all these people dying out here? That's because the church is not doing their job. We don't have intercessors. We don't have intercessors. We don't have intercessors. Everybody want to talk about blessings, but intercessors stop things. Intercessors pray. You don't hear what I'm saying. We got to go back to prayer shut-ins. As a matter of fact, I'm, give, I'm getting ready to give one. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, not prayer. Oh, honey, let me tell you something. I might preach. I can't tell you that, but I know we're going to pray all night long. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah to his name. That's what God is putting on my heart. He's tired of just conferences. Everybody going all over the world. They got a conference. They got they, they want to prophetically invoke you and all this other stuff. No, I'm gonna tell you what we need in this hour. Need we prayer like never before. We need fasting like never before. We need the power of God like never before. We need the presence of God like never before. Oh, come on, somebody stop playing up in here. Alcohol ain't gonna save you. Drugs ain't gonna save you. Good sex ain't gonna save you. All the money in the world ain't gonna save you. Look at the stars. Don't play with me. Hallelujah. The only thing can save 
give you is the power of Jesus Christ, not Muhammad and not any other religions. Oh, come on, somebody. Only one true living God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Ain't nobody playing up in here. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So we got to fight the good fight. Oh, hallelujah to his name. I, I came and just encourage you. That was on my spirit so heavy. God said they got to fight. They got to fight because some of you have given up and I got to go here. Some of you that used to be lesbians, you, you still have those thoughts. Yes, it's going to be a fight every day. It's going to be a fight. Some of you guys that are gay and, and you really don't want to be gay, you're going to have to fight every day because, yes, the thought's going to come. Come on, somebody. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Alcoholic. Y yes, yes, you're going to be wanting that drink every day. You got to fight every day. Oh, come on, somebody. Somebody that watch porn. Oh, come on, somebody. You got to fight every day. And I, I ain't doing it today. I can win. Every day is a battle. Come on, somebody, that you can win. But guess what? It's the power of suggestion. Oh, that's what the enemy does. It's a power of suggestion. Oh, you know, you know, you want to do it. You know, you want to see this. You know, you want to do that. Which is actually divination, which is witchcraft. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So every day you got to pray over yourself. Father God, in the name of Jesus, keep me. God, I'm getting weak. Keep me. God, I'm tired. Keep me. God, I feel alone. Keep me. God, I feel tempted. Keep me. You got to ask God to keep you. You can't do this by yourself. Hallelujah to his name. I don't care how strong you are. Because even the strongest fall. Hallelujah to his name. Through his word. Through praying. And being real with God. No, you can't tell everybody your business. You know that because they ain't got the Holy Ghost. They're going to turn on you or they're going to they gonna talk about you. The, the two T's, turn or talk. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You're going to have to go to God yourself. God, keep me. God, keep me. And I tell you, I tell you, I may not have much and I might not be much in the eyes of some people. But I tell you who can keep you. I tell you who can keep you. I tell you who can keep you. Oh, hallelujah. When nobody's there at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning and you're hurting, are you going through? Nobody playing? Jesus is a keeper. And so I want to encourage you. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give in. I know it gets hard. Come on, somebody. You're talking to somebody that's a walking testimony. But I'm going to tell you what God says. This is who we are. And each test is to prepare you for the real battle. Each test is to increase your faith. Each test is to bring you closer to your destiny. So you can't give up now, God says, because this is your ultimate fight. Oh, come on, somebody. God did not bring you this far to leave you. God have not forgotten about you. And maybe it didn't happen then, but God say, just keep on living. Because what he has said, thus said the Lord, it shall surely come to pass, said the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. Just only believe the enemies after your faith. You know, you know, when you go through something so much, you, you stop believing. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm talking to some real people on here. You, you, you're going to know you go through so much. You, you, you start having an attitude. You start getting mad. You start, uh, God, are you really there? Are you listening? Those are faith walks. And how you get past those is you got to look at the love victories you had and the big ones. If he did it then, he going to do it now. Maybe not in this timing, but in his timing. Oh, come on, somebody. I just say something. Not in this timing, but his timing. Hallelujah to his name. You got to trust them, God says. Hallelujah to his name. Oh, Lord, hallelujah to his name. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare give in. Stay in your word, people. Gird yourselves with the body of Christ. And let me tell you something. The true follower. Stop hanging around people that you know ain't got no anointing because they call python spirits. They'll drain you. And that's what's happening. Two people are draining you. Not just financially, but spiritually draining you. Come on, somebody. It's all right to help people, but you got to pray. Come on, somebody. Some of you are not praying. And that's why you're getting hit. Come on. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. I love you. I love you with the love of Christ. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. So, oh, I feel the power of God. Okay. I don't even know where I bet. Y'all see that? I mean, the power of God is real. Power of God is real. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is truly who we are. Walk like it. Talk like it. Be like it. In Jesus' name. God bless. Jesus Christ of Nazareth's name.